Good night, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Whoopi speaking, uh, and I would like to go on on this very interesting uh, experiment with the shorting coils. And so now the motor is running because I will begin with the charging here at 34 and 58, slowly climbing. But for the demonstration tonight, I have to shut down the motor and the power. Okay, what I wanted to show you tonight, I went on all the paper of Du Concern, made by uh, Stefan, to explain how it worked with his shorting. So, what I did this afternoon here, I tried these bare circuits, these two MOSFET and read switch. All the read switch are here. I have tried everything. And what happened is, it is a big problem because the read switch, read switch has to be placed very exactly. And with these circuits, there is no AC capacitor. So, when you get too much power, it breaks the rotor. It works, but it breaks the rotor. It is almost without the MOSFET, as I showed you in the previous video. Okay? And now I decided to replicate this circuit here, also from Doug Conson. You can find it at OU uh, on their um, e smile motor or shorting the coils and things so. Ready to find. And I replicated it. So I put an AC capacitor. I tried a lot. I have not the correct one, but as he said, we have to try everything. And so I did this new circuit here and you can see the capacitor here the two MOSFET here and it is not no more a uh, read switch but it is a hold sensor so now it is something more complicated that we show you how it works so the rotor is turning and you have here this sm small magnet. This all sensor here, this one here, is the charging of the capacitor, of this capacitor here, for the motorizing. So in this capacitor, the energy comes from the power supply. Power supplies, when this magnet co goes on this hole, the energy of this power supply goes in this capacitor and when the magnet is away of the whole sensor it stops the power supply so it stays only the capacitor on the other stage now you have this whole sensor which discharge this capacitor in not this one coil but this on the coil exactly at the right time you see it took, took exactly in the middle so poof the power all right and now i have put a third or sensor sorry it is something complicated it is here okay and this old sensor here when the rotor come back here there's only one rotor and one person motor not uh, Never forget it. Go on this point here. Puff! The coil is charging here, makes a wave, and puff! Shorted. Go back, go up, charging, puff! Shorted. And go back. Right? And with this circuit here, I hope to get this effect you see all the circuits are at the constant uh, website and the aim is to get 
this sine wave here is to say that you have sine wave and at the top shorting with a lot of spikes Ooh, at each above and down I am not able to get it now but I will try okay now just for a small demonstration I put the power on okay let's go with the rotor speed is going up very nicely very smooth everything is okay here is the capacitor the dam capacitor as you can see it's slowly going up and up and up and up and up and on the scope you get exactly this trace with this ringing wave here I will uh, enlarge it sorry by the way you see the ringing I think you can do much better but for a first experience I think it is quite good isn't it okay if I can apps good night a lot good night <laughs>